mother of mothers. When a brave woman's out walking, she's mistress life's spitting image, Michelle Ange Hippolyte. The faces of mothers of mothers, their cheekbones gleaming against taut skins, their eyes glazed with the scarring of so much loss. In Haiti, the mothers of mothers have lamented for so long. All that is left is the sturdy presence of grace, the wide open heart of knowing how much a casket weighs, how it feels on the open palm. The mothers of mothers march through the congregation while the children of men clap their hands, beat tambourines, scratch the grater, and sing the flat harmony that shivers the air. Beneath a cascade of flame yellow and red flamboyance, she stalks the outskirts of the feet-worn worship ground, the outer limits of the congregation where the weeds and stones have accumulated. Here, where the excavation of rubble takes us as far as weary arms and the creaky wheelbarrow can go. These women draw a pattern of circles with their heavy, planted feet, their arms raised high, their voices continuing with greater ceremony and occasion, that conversation that began with Jesus at four in the morning. Oh, the mothers of mothers, who know too well the hottest sorrow, the broken bodies of children, the boy who covers a jaw full of maggots, and the tall, lanky son whose spine gives under the weight of concrete before he is pulled out, laid under the soft blue light of a wayside clinic, waiting to go, and quietly, with the flies returning to his skin, he is still, though he must wait there until dusk before they notice, before a procession of mothers leads the body out into the night, and mother of mothers, she hears her child wake, look around and speak. How nice the air is out here before he dies, this time for good. Mothers of mothers, in your bandana and with your holy testament, you must draw the line of defense around the beleaguered souls and speak a torrent of curses on the beast lurking in the shadows.